Spunky Skunky is a 1952 Casper film. This is directed by Izzy Barber and Marin Waldman and written by Lars Bourne with a voice cast including Jack Mercer, May Questel, Sid Raymond and Alan Shea. And this one is very cute. This is about a little skunk who isn't allowed to play baseball because, well, he's a skunk and nobody wants to play with a skunk. And he happens to fall into a bucket of paint and Casper sees this. Casper does see him falling into the paint. But when the skunk emerges, the skunk sees himself covered in white stuff and he sees Casper and he deduces that he must be a ghost. So Casper doesn't tell the skunk that he's not actually a ghost and this allows the skunk to feel like he's found a kindred spirit and they play together and have a great time. And whether or not the skunk finds out he's not a ghost, I'm not going to say, but I thought it was a really lovely story. It also helps to show that on the outside, it shouldn't make a difference. Because the skunk believed he had something in common with Casper, he was able to enjoy playing with him, even though on the inside he was still exactly the same as before. And I think that that's a really lovely message. And it's done in a way that's really, really fun as well. We have a lot of really lovely moments between them. They're laughing and having a great time. And it's it's so sweet to see the skunk Spending time with a friend after he was rejected by the other characters. However, the skunk does only think he's allowed to play with Casper because he thinks he's the same as him. And this is not necessarily the skunk's fault. This is the fault of the people who rejected him because he was cast as an outsider because, well, he smells differently to the rest of them. And now that he thinks he looks like Casper because he thinks he's also a ghost, that's a good friend for him to have. And he has to learn that actually it shouldn't make a difference what he looks like. And it's a, a sweet way to tell this story. I think the skunk was a very cute character and I rather enjoyed it. It's maybe not my all-time favourite Casper short, largely because the nostalgia is not as strong for me with this one. I have no recollection of this one. As I've mentioned before, with re-watching Casper cartoons, it's unlocking some memories for me, some beautiful memories that I'd completely forgotten about. I don't have any recollection of Spunky Skunky, but that doesn't affect my enjoyment. It's still a really fun animation with a really lovely message, and it's absolutely adorable. If you're a fan of Casper, then Spunky Skunky is definitely worth checking out.